So welcome to part two of uh, who should be the stay-at-home parent. On the first video we talked about uh, finances. For this one we're going to talk about who's more mentally capable. Um, this is one of the biggest ones for me that a lot of people ignore or take way lightly than it should be taken because it impacts a lot of us um, and it's becoming more and more popular. It is estimated that one in four adults will suffer from some form of mental illness. So what is mental illness? In short, it is an illness of the mind in which a person to a degree loses control over aspects of their thoughts and or feelings. Mental issues to consider will be stuff like anxiety, panic attack, depression, bipolar, anger is also a form of it, paranoia, and so on and so forth. There's more uh, mental illness that I did not list, but these are just a few of them in which greatly impact parenting. Um, there's some more severe ones, but these ones are the more common ones that you find. Why should mental illness be taken into consideration of who should be the stay-at-home parent? Well, first of all, children who grow up with parents who suffer from mental illness are at the risk of developing social, emotional, or behavioral problems. Uh, like they say, your child know when something is bothering you and it kind of rubs off or take effect on the child as they grow up as well. Many times parents who suffer from these mental illness tend to isolate themselves from the outside world, thus keeping their kids uh, isolated as well, which prevents them from exploring and blossoming in who they're supposed to be. So because it is said that one in four adults will suffer from it, there's um, a high possibility that both parents at some point may suffer from a form of mental illness. And if that's the case, you pretty much just got to consider who's more capable of dealing with it. Um, who can hide it more in a sense. Uh, it's not always good to hide it. Sometimes it's good to explain to the child when they have the age of um, understanding what's wrong and what's going on so they can better arm themselves mentally, if I can put it in that aspect. Another thing you gotta look out for too is uh, postpartum depression. It's a depression involved around pregnancy. Um, men do get it too. Though it's known for being short term, it can also develop to be a full term depression. And that's something for you to keep an eye on if, it's, um, if you develop that kind of uh, depression during pregnancy or after pregnancy and seek as much help as you can to avoid it becoming a bigger issue than it should be. If you are someone you know suffer from mental illness, uh, find someone to talk to, find someone you trust, who you can express yourself to. Uh, there's a lot of helplines and websites that you could go to. Uh, I'll put one in the description. for. Yeah, so that number two, part two, and the first one was finances, you can go and check that video, this one is uh, who's more mentally capable, um, if you know anybody who this information will be helpful to, please share it, click the subscribe button, click like, whatever work, and I'll see you next week for number two, have a good one.